Good morning, and welcome to the Homesteading Dream. Today with Adam Barlow from Enduring Ascent, we're going to be building a bell siphon. And what is a bell siphon system? Do you want to explain that? Sure. So a bell siphon allows you to pump water from one container to another, and when it gets to a certain point, it drains um, water in your crops. Right, so you use it in what? You use it a lot in, in flood and drain systems, um, aquaponics, hydroponics, microgreens. So there's a lot of applications. It's a really cool system. It's really cheap. So I'm really excited because we've got a video, our next video that we're going to be making, we're actually going to be building a simple fodder system that you can keep in a garage or a shed um, to be able to feed your animals, right? Supplement and even to, to entirely feed them, right? Right, absolutely. So stay tuned to that. Really excited. So what are we going to use today? So today we've got um, two buckets. These are just five gallon buckets I picked up at local hardware store. We've got four, sorry, quarter inch um, by 10 feet of tubing, just clear, or you can use whatever you have around. We have, this is a half inch by 18 inch um, riser for sprinkler systems, right? So we have that and just a cap. We have um, our drill, a quarter inch drill bit, and then an eighth inch drill bit. We have a little twist tie and a pump. And this pump we picked up just at the store for what? It was like $12? Yeah. So super cheap. We're talking how much for the entire thing? So this whole system was about $20, $25. So under $25. Yeah. That's really amazing. Super cool. Yeah. All right, well, let's get started. Okay, let's go ahead and move one of those down so we have a little bit more room to work with. So to start out with, you're gonna flip your bucket upside down. You're taking your quarter inch drill bit, and in the corner, and closer to the side, we're just gonna drill um, a hole for this tubing to go through it. Right there? Yep. All right. So the next step is to take this quarter inch tubing, stick it in the hole. We're gonna we want flip it nice over. and tight so that we're not leaking water. Now leaking water isn't gonna hurt you tremendously in this kind of system because we're gonna be using it in a fodder system. Right. But if you're super worried about it, you could throw a caulk around there or get a gasket system. You could even put a gasket between it. Right. Now when you're putting this pipe in, you're gonna to wanna to keep the pipe down below the top of the bucket, below the top of the container, because um, in a bell system, it's gonna fill up to this, to this tube right here and then it's going to, to go ahead and siphon down. So we're gonna have that, what do you think? Is that three inches down? Yeah, we'll get about three, three inches. inches down. Okay? All right. And next step. From there, we have this tubing and we need to cut this so we can use it again. So I'm gonna leave about a foot of tubing underneath this to, um, for it to drain into our so, plants. So that we can drain this into another container or into our plants, right? Right. Awesome. Okay. All right, the next step. So then we've got our 18 inch riser and our cap. And we need to screw this cap on really tight. We screw it on tight so that it does what? So it creates suction in this tube. Awesome. So the way this works is really simple and I'll include a diagram in the description. So what happens is this water fills up to the top of that tube and starts falling down into the tube, creating a suction, right? Mm -hmm. And that suction pulls it down and continues to suck it down or siphon until it reaches the bottom of this, this pipe right here that we put over the other pipe, or put over the other tube. So it's gonna to continue to siphon until it gets clear to the bottom, and then it's gonna start over again. So what we need to do is we need to actually drill a couple holes into this pipe so that that's gonna be the level that remains in the bottom of this container, this bucket. So we're gonna drill a hole right above these, just right above the threads, and then another one right on this other side, right? So about uh, ninja? Yeah. Okay, should we go clear through? Go through the other side? Sure. Okay, and then I'm going to turn it this way. You want it just above. And that way, when we stick this tube, so when we stick the tube up into this, um, it allows for the water to go up to the height of that tube that we have inside of here, and then 
as the water level fills and gets to the top of that tube, it will start to go down that tube and go through this tube and drain out of the bucket. This is the one that we showed you earlier. And it's gonna go clear down until it hits these points right here, until it hits this top hole. And then it's gonna start letting air back in. And then it'll stop the siphon and it's gonna fill back up again to this point until it gets to the top of this tube inside of here and begins to do that siphon cycle all over again. So the next step is going to actually be to secure this pipe onto the bucket. So I'm going to switch out drill bits into an 8 inch drill bit here. And I'm just going to drill two holes on either side of this pipe. Now on these holes we're trying to keep them as top, as high uh, to the top of the bucket as possible because um, otherwise, we're going to have a problem with our water flowing out of those. So remember to keep it right up to the top, and we're going to grab that. Now we're just using a twist tie. Now you can use whatever you have. There are brackets that we were going to use, but we want to make sure this is stuff that you can find around your house. Yep. So this was actually something that was on the tube when we bought this tubing. Um, this held the tubing together, so it's just something that we had. We wanted to make it simple. So you're just going to stick it on there and twist it as tight as you can. Hold that too so it doesn't fall down. Causing problems with our siphon. Awesome. So we've uh, gone ahead and we've finished the twisty tie, put this on here. Now the next step is we actually thread this down over on top of this piping here. We make sure that it goes clear down to the bottom so that it allows that water flow to come up here until it reaches the top of this tube and then begins going down that, siphoning down this tube, and we'll do that until it gets down to those holes we drilled inside of this pipe. All right. All right, so then that last step is fairly simple. We've got a quarter inch piping here, and it simply goes into the pump. Okay, you're gonna make sure that goes in all the way to the bottom. You're gonna, you're gonna sink it into a bucket full of water and stick it into your bell siphon. Now, in a, agricultural aspect, remember, this tube right here, this is our drain pipe. This is what's actually going to be watering our plants. So keep that in mind when you're, when you're cutting these lengths. You want this long enough that the bucket, when it's hanging, when it's hanging over, this will go over and down into your plants and drain into your plants, water your plants, and you need to have this long enough that you can be to the top of your fodder system, micrograins, whatever you're going to use. Right. So this will be hung up high. This will be hung up above above this other bucket so they can siphon down into it, right? Right. So, okay, so now we're going to go ahead and show how this works. So we're going to watch how the water come, flows from here. And we've got this submersible pump that we've got inside of here, right? So Trevor's going to go ahead and plug this in. We're going to watch that the water is going to flow into this next bucket. And then we'll show you what's going to happen with it. Here it comes. Okay, so we've got the water coming out into this next bucket. So obviously, we chose a pump that's going to take a little while for this to fill up. And once it fills up this bucket um, to this point where it'll siphon, then we want to have this bucket elevated to a point where it'll be able to flow out of here. Okay, here we go. So remember, I'm doing the job of the pump. The gray bucket is going to be your crop. And when I pour this to a certain level, and there so it goes. What, can you see the water coming out of here? So what level are we at right now in the bucket? Can you point that out to him? We're about right here in the bucket. And this will continue to drain until we hit those holes that we drilled in this siphon pipe, gray pipe. That's right, so we can set this down inside the bucket so we can see that happen. And we're gonna go ahead and We'll let this siphon out and show you what it's like at the end. All right, so right here at the end, as you can see, we're barely getting any water out of this pipe. We are just about there. If I tip it just this way, just a little bit so that we get the air into the pipe. There we go. That's it. All right, so I'm really excited. So it actually drained down into this pipe or into this bucket right here uh, through the pipe and it stopped. So we reached the bottom of the pipe where we had the holes. Uh, the water continued down the clear pipe inside of this pipe until it, the water level reached these holes right here. 
allowing air to come in and stopping the siphon. And we finish. So this is a very simple example of a bell siphon system. So I'm really excited that you guys joined me for this. You were able to see this really cool project. And we're excited for the following project. The reason that we built this, this system here was for our next video, our fodder system. So make sure you guys tune in for that and um, like and subscribe. And also, if you guys can set your notification, um, you'll know when that film comes out. Thanks guys.